Danny, I'm back at Farnborough again uh, for a really good workout against Sutton United. Um, obviously, talk about results are not the most important thing in pre-season, uh, but you stayed in the game and you, you got yourselves a win. How pleased were you with your boys' work this afternoon? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, we probably wouldn't normally want to play a team like Sutton this early. It's only the, our second game, a uh, proper game. Obviously, the first one, a bad shot, was at 11, a try this and young lads. But the opportunity came up, you can't turn it down. Obviously, newly promoted, it's a league club. It's hard to get friendlies against actual proper first team. So mm. it was a great opportunity for the lads. And you know what? I, I feel for Alfie because I thought he was relatively solid for the game. It's, it's a un, un sort of characteristic error that gives him a 1-0 lead. And you think to yourself, right, this could be a really tough day. But yeah, like you said, we stayed in the game. I thought they, they were the better side first half and, and were worthy of their lead at half time. But we, we, we slightly tweaked a few things in the second half. I thought we, we gave a good a good account of ourselves. It was a much better performance, I thought, collectively from Warshaw in the second half. But how difficult is it for the team adjusting to uh, trying a different formation? It's not one you were able to experiment with last year. I know perhaps you wanted to at times, but I yeah. don't know if you ever had three fit centre-backs. No, yeah. and it's exactly yeah. that. And we, we, we did our business quite early with the centre-backs because we knew what we wanted to do. We targeted the three players that we wanted to play those positions. And fortunately, we, we got the ones we wanted. Um, I, look, I think if you look at the first half, when you watch it, it's all about distances. And what, what we got sucked into in the, in the first half was our two centre midfielders, our holding midfielders, took it so literally that they literally sat on top of the back three which meant Toby dropped 10 yards, which meant I won, either Mo or Corey were having to drop 10 yards. And every time we won the ball back, we mm. couldn't go anywhere. Mm. Uh, and all we did at half time was just shift them up 10 yards. Everyone just played 10 yards higher. Be braver, trust your mate behind you, and you'll be all right. And I thought the, we, 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 bought, we bared the fruits of that in the second half. So, but no, look, it, it, it was a good experiment. Um, Coop's got a debut, which um, <laughs> we're, 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 we're delighted with. And obviously we wish Josh uh, all the best with his with his shoulder, but um, no, it's a good exercise. It's a good bit of character shown as well. And um, but they're, they're a good side. You can see the quality they've got. They'll 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 do all right next year, starting in the league. Now, Danny, we're about halfway through or third of the way through pre-season. Um, we know finances are difficult at the club. You're going to have to be clever in the uh, transfer market. Is there an element now? You've got a core squad, but with the other two, three, four players, whatever else you're going to bring in. Is it a matter of being patient? Because there are a lot of players out there that aren't all going to be where they want to be. Yeah, I, I mean, I think you've, you've, you've literally hit the nail on the head, Rob. It is, we have got to be smart and we've got to be clever and we've got to be patient and we're going to have to utilise the loan market. We're going to make, make sure we're clever with that. And I mean, you, you look at some of the signings the last 48 hours from some of the clubs in our league, you just, you just it beggars belief. Mm. But that's not our problem or, or our, our, our issue to worry about. Um, We've got we've got an eleven. Um, we look at now and we think, well, okay, if the season started tomorrow, we're happy with the business we've done now. Do we want to add some more? Uh, we want some more firepower. We want to add another forward, at least one. Um, and we need to we need to dot a couple around who have got probably the ability to play multiple positions to help us from a squad perspective. And you know what? Look, if you get a little bit of luck, which I think you always have to have. I spoke to Matt before the, before the game, and he said last season he said we only really used fourteen players all season, and he said. We, we, we back ourselves with the pro conditioning programme we've done, but there's also a bit of luck with that. And I think we, we're going to need a little bit of that this year. And who knows? We've got we've got some talented boys. We've got some talented lads. Tuesday night, uh, another trip back to Harringay. Third season running, I think. Always a good work out there. Yeah, listen, I, I like what they do. I like how Tommy does it there. I think they're a great club. It's an uncomfortable environment to be in for the boys. The, the, the size of the dressing rooms, the, the, the area that you're driving into, you, 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 you're driving through this estate and suddenly this estate appears from nowhere. Mm. And I like it. And and you know what? He's a good guy to talk to because we use his information as well because it bears in those those step three levels and, and that, that he kind of says, listen, have an eye out for one of those. And and they give you an opportunity. I mean, Sutton had one of their lads playing uh, today. They took from Haringey and... I just think it's a great test. And do you know what? They always put on a good show and it gives us a little bit of a run through the meal, which we definitely need. And I know this question's coming out of order, but it may be a miss of me not to ask it. Um, Corey Andrews, you brought him in on a half season loan uh, from AFC Wimbledon. And like for all strikers, he got a goal on his debut and he'll be chuffed with that and you'll be pleased, I'm sure. Yeah, look, I'm quite fortunate that one of the reasons that I brought Jamie Waller in is because, like Anwar, he's got an unbelievable knowledge of players. Um, both of both Anwar and Jamie know Corey well. Uh, 
at Jamie with Corey's time at Palace and Amar through his, his, his sort of network of scouts and himself watching games. So when the, we thought there was a sniff of an opportunity to bring him in, he's different than what we've ever had. Um, he's a very much in behind centre forward. He likes to be in those spaces. He runs those areas, no loss causes. Um, and yeah, I'm buzzing for the lad because it just, it's gone now. He's got his goal and he hasn't got to worry about that. There's no drought to worry about. He's, he's done it. He's got his goal. And, and to be fair, Tommy, Tommy, when he came on, he's very similar. He likes to run him. He's a pest. Um, he's got a bright future as well, the boy. Are you in with a shot? More information in the description below. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.